everyone, welcome to the Mindkind Kitchen. I'm Aisha. And I'm Sophie. And we're very excited to be here today to share one of our favorite recipes uh, with you guys. Now this time we did something special. Last week on our Instagram account, we posted a question and asked you what you wanted us to make. And an overwhelming number of you guys said... Veggie burgers. Now, veggie burgers are absolutely incredible. The absolute range. I mean, whether it's just a bun and a patty from a tower that you can barely eat. It's incredible. I know I've tried those. It's hard to you know, yeah. eat it gracefully. <laughs> it takes longer to actually prepare to eat it than to actually eat it. Or you just turn yeah. around, squish it, and then just yeah. eat it. But there, there's a lot of variations for veggie burgers. Um, and we're going to make a bean burger. Um, the ingredients that we're gonna use are mushrooms, black beans, chickpeas, beets, and lentils. And uh, of course, a lot of spices that go into it. And we love our bean burger because beans yeah. you know they're one of the healthiest things to eat and you know based on so many research studies and uh, based on the blue zone study by our dear friend Dan Buettner we know that people who live in the blue zones which are areas in the world that people live the longest the main food that is essentially the same in these areas is beans yeah. and it makes sense yeah. it's made out of clean protein uh, it has a lot of resistant starches and you know complex carbohydrates that regulate blood glucose levels um, it has a lot of minerals in them too it's just a really 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 healthy food and we're so excited to make this for you okay we're going to go over the ingredients with you um, the one thing that is absolutely essential in this veggie burger are mushrooms, mushrooms. Um, and we bought cremini mushrooms from Trader Joe's yesterday they're really good uh, then we have about a cup of cooked lentils I mean you can get it in a can too but I had lentils at home and it took us what about 30 minutes or yeah. so to cook them. I just boiled them. Uh, we're going to use a cup of rolled oats, a can of black beans, and a can of chickpeas, low sodium preferably. And we also have this beet, and I'm going to use about half of this beet. It gives it, you know, the color, yes. but at the same time, it gives it a richness as well, and it's so, so healthy. You're um, gonna wanna make sure you're wearing gloves while doing this, otherwise it's gonna look like a murder scene. Blood bath. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And we we actually have a separate cutting board for it too. One of the most important points about preparing your beans are making sure that you drain them. Um, and we drain them right here. Uh, we drain the beans and we also pad dry them a little bit uh, because when you put them in the food processor to make the patty, if they're wet and soggy, mm, not gonna be good. No, it's gonna fall apart. It's gonna be up. An absolute mess. It's yeah, gonna it's going to be, be more like a dip. Yeah. Um, so you don't want a dip, you want a patty. And that's why we're going to use... Oh, <laughs> burger dip. We're going to use a couple of things as a binding agent to make them really nice and firm. Yeah. Now we're going to cut our mushrooms and the beet. You don't necessarily have to be um, very specific about these. Just, you know, making sure that we cut them into small pieces because we're going to cook them. Um, and the reason we cook them is we want some of the moisture to go away. I like to just watch and admire her cutting skills. Alright, so we cut our mushrooms and now we are moving on to the beets. And we're going yes. to get our separate board. Yes, a and special beet board. Oh, I forgot my glo gloves. I'll oh, yes. Back. Ow. <laughs> So I'm skinning the beet now, and I'd say it's beet red, but I mean, it is beet red, so. All of this will go into a food processor and it'll be processed with the oats and the beans, so, you know, no need to be too fancy about it. But um, I want to make sure that it's not big chunks of beets. Better wash that knife, otherwise some people will um, imagine the worst. <laughs> Oh goodness. Yeah. Now we're going to cook our mushrooms um, to let the moisture out a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of um, avocado oil, but you know, you can totally skip the oil if you want to. Um, our pan is a nonstick pan and it's been on high heat for a few minutes and you can hear the sizzle. We're just going to cook this for two to three minutes and that's it. I'm not going to add any seasoning at this point. And this is what gives the the burger a an umami flavor, a deep flavor. And you know we've talked about how wonderful mushrooms are. 
uh, for immunity. Um, it's, it's just one of the healthiest foods around, and we're excited. Oh, and for those of you wondering, um, I'm recovering from my dislike of mushrooms, and I'm really, I'm starting to like mushrooms, yeah. I'm recovering, yeah. Well, I am so happy to hear that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> And you know, that's the most beautiful thing. Um, if you don't like a vegetable or a fruit, sometimes changing the texture, cutting it differently, presenting it in a different Definitely, way, yeah. actually really makes a big difference. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of people who don't like beans at all. They don't like the texture of beans, but when you make a bean burger or a bean patty or even a bean dip, yeah. they love it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important to learn how to cook. Now it's the exciting part. We're going to use a food processor to blend all of these ingredients together. Yes. Now we cook down our mushrooms. This was, believe it or not, two cups. Look how much it is now. Seriously? Wow. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> so we're going to put this in there. We're not going to put all of our ingredients in the food processor at the same time. And because of the texture difference, uh, they may actually not blend or get cut properly. So we're going to put them, you know, one or two ingredients at a time. So we put our mushrooms in there and we're going to add a little bit, maybe half of the oats and half of the lentils. And we're just going to blend this first. Okay. And we're going to use the pulse. Okay, um, let me show you the texture. So the texture is like that. You still can see some bits and pieces of it, but you know, they get together and they kind of form a patty. So we're going to put this in a bowl. There we go, all right. And now we're going to put the other ingredients. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to use our chickpeas now. I'm not going to blend the black beans and the chickpeas together. If you have a really large um, food processor that can process all of these things without turning it into mush, then that's great. But it doesn't do that here. And here it is. That's our chickpeas. The chickpeas go in there. Looking good. Okay. So we actually blended a little bit more because our um, food processor was acting up a little yeah. bit, but you see the texture here. This is the last batch um, of the ingredients. To that, we're going to add a teaspoon of tapioca. The tapioca is, again, like oatmeal, a binding agent. So to that, we're going to add about three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm just kind of eyeballing this right now. It's one and for talents. <laughs> yeah, it's a superpower. It's a superpower. <laughs> and we're going to add about a teaspoon of liquid aminos, again, to give it a little bit of saltiness and uh, some depth. And we like spicy food. Yes. So we're going to add a little bit of crushed red peppers. You can add cayenne or hot sauce, whichever one you want. And um, obviously a little bit of salt and black pepper. So the salt is optional. If you're using beans that are already salted in the can, then you don't have to add salt. But uh, if it's not, then you can add a little bit. So now we're going to blend this, Let's pulse it a little bit. And I think it's done. Perfect. Okay. Okay, perfect. Look at that color. I'm just going to mix it because um, the batch that has all the spices hasn't really been mixed very well. So just spending a minute or two to mix everything together. And then we're going to make patties. Perfect. So now we are going to taste this. Let's see how it is. Mm -hmm. That's the time for you to adjust the salt and pepper and 
you know, add more nutritional yeast for some depth. Um, I think it needs a little more salt, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna so. add a little more salt to it. Um, and I think maybe a little bit of a kick of some yeah. red pepper too. Definitely. All right, and we are going to just uh, mix this with our spatula. Okay, so this is ready. Um, and now we're going to make patties out of this. That's yours. Perfect. And this is mine. Um, and this is the stage where you can actually make a lot of patties and you can freeze them. Um, what we do is we make double the batch because we eat a lot. Yes. And we take parchment papers, cut them into squares and um, separate the patties from each other um, and just freeze them so that on a weekday, we don't actually have to make this all over again. And it really is a time saver if you do that. Perfect. Okay, yours seems to be a little flatter. Yes. See if you can actually make it a little, you know, rounder. You're doing a great job though. Thank you. That's beautiful. Okay, there we go. We're gonna make all these patties now. All right, just grab a glob. Make it sound gross. <laughs> Let's see if I got this right. And then she, I think it's a little small, like a slider. I guess we can have sliders. Yeah, of course. And now we're going to cook our patties. So I will spray the pan with a little bit of um, avocado oil. Perfect. And the pan was already very hot. So I'll just gently take a patty and place it here. Ooh, sounds good. And the goal is to crisp the outside really well. These are nice and dry so they won't take a long time to cook. So we're just going to cook four of these for now. Now we're going to flip it. Ooh, looking good. Wow, that looks really good. Wow, that smells amazing too. Yes. Come on, let's Beautiful. all smell it together. <laughs> So now when they're crisp on the outside and it's browned up a little bit, what we'll do is we'll put it on a baking sheet and put it in the oven for about 15 minutes or so so that it gets cooked from the inside out as well. It's not a necessary step. If you want to actually cook it a little bit more on the pan, that's totally fine. You can do that. Um, but I feel that it actually firms up a little better yeah. when you bake it in the oven. So we'll do that now. And as far as the rest of the burgers are concerned, what we did was we just cut small pieces of parchment paper to separate them and we're going to put this in the freezer uh, for a weeknight to make burgers or, you know, put it in a wrap. It just really, really makes our life easy this Perfect, way. Perfect, yeah. Okay, these look really, really good. If you want to come take a look at it, come peek. Look at the color. Um, it looks very, very nice. It's nice and crisp on the outside, still kind of pretty juicy in the inside. So we'll transfer this into a baking sheet. Um, and I've warmed up the oven at 375 degrees. And we're just going to bake these for about 15 minutes. Now, if you have an oven safe pan with you know a handle that is not rubber, you can actually uh, cook the patties in the pan and put the pan in the oven for about 15 minutes. It makes things easier, but I am going to use my baking sheet now. All right. I'm gonna let these cook for 15 minutes. Perfect. While these are in the oven, we're going to start making the condiments. I'll make some salsa, I'll cut up some cucumbers. Um, we actually made some chipotle cheese, a cashew chipotle cheese, which is insanely good. It's but incredible. It's absolutely amazing. Definitely. It actually takes takes the burger Definitely. to a completely different yeah. level. Um, we're just going to uh, pour that on top of the burger. So we're going to work on our condiments right now while that cooks. Okay, we're ready. Now I'm going to get the patties out of the oven. And what, what are those? those the are buns those are ready? Are, yes, the buns are toasted. Watch your hands. Ooh, this looks amazing. Doesn't it? Yes, okay. definitely. So we're gonna be making two variations here. We're gonna be making one with, uh, you know, regular burger buns. And since some people don't wanna eat bread, we're gonna make some with lettuce. Awesome. Specifically butter lettuce. So we're going to start with this 
just amazing. It's incredible. Cheese. This yeah. is a cashew uh, chipotle cheese or a queso. Um, and Sophie makes this all the time. I do, yes. You can use it as a condiment or a dip. It's probably the best dip I've ever had. We're going to put the recipe yeah. um, in the website so you guys can yeah. um, take a look at it and make it. So we're going to put a small little um, dollop of this cheese on the bun and then I'm going to basically just tear off this lettuce and place it like that. Then we're going to put, I made some salsa, just tomatoes, red onions, some cilantro with lime and salt. And then we're going to put thinly sliced cucumbers, optional. You know, some people like um, putting some um, pickles, but I think fresh cucumbers are much better. Less salt at yeah. least, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're then going to put the patty, the, the bell of the ball. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is, huh? That looks amazing. All right. And then we're not going to be shy about... Just like really pour it on. You put as much as, as you want. Well, that's good enough. <laughs> There you go. And there's no end to it. You can put so many other things, yeah. but we're just going to make one with lettuce here as well. So for this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of salsa, like so. Some cucumbers. Ooh, that looks amazing. I know, right? The burger patty. Mm -hmm. And then, cheese <laughs> and then some cheese wow look at that this just looks amazing it really does okay now you can roll this you can eat it like this on a plate with a fork and a knife i prefer to just kind of roll it yeah. and you know take a bite off of it but here are the two variations okay we're going to put the top of the bun like that. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, that. Look, at it. Look at it melt off. That That's that looks really gorgeous. good. Okay. Do you want us to try this, Sophie? Yes. All right. Let's try this. This is my. I know this is your favorite part. Yes. Okay. I am just making sure that I don't ruin anything here. Okay. And. You want to take a close shot of this? Look how wow. beautiful this looks. Amazing. Wow. Okay. You want to taste it, Sof? Absolutely. Let's go. Absolutely. I Let's do, do this. All you right. take this one, I'll we'll take this one. Gladly. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> smells good. Ready? Wow. <laughs> I'm not very grateful when I'm eating a burger, but mm, oh my goodness. It's kind of the point. Yeah. This is amazing. Um, if you look at it, the burger patty has this beautiful color to it. Lots and lots of flavor. The cheese sauce goes very well with it, but I think even without the cheese sauce, this thing is just incredible with, you know, on top of a salad or in a wrap. Oh. Um, yeah. The combination of the beans with the tomatoes, the salsa, the... <laughs> Do I have something on my face? Mm. With the cheese sauce, which is good fats, the, um, the beets, the greens, the, the freshness of the cucumber, and just the mouthfulness of all of this together. It goes so, so well. Sometimes you have to remind yourself that this is like 100% completely healthy. And it's because it's like, it tastes, it's so filling, right? It's so filling and it's amazing. Well, there you go, guys. A beautiful plant-based whole food burger that has incredible ingredients. Great for the brain, great for the body. Incredibly delicious. <laughs> Incredibly delicious. We didn't really compromise on taste. Yeah. It's just packed with flavors. Uh, please make it, let us know. We always love hearing from you and we love seeing your pictures on our social media. Follow us on our social media. We're at Team Shares Eye. Um, give us a thumbs up here on YouTube if you like it. Subscribe to our channel. We love 
hearing from you and we love it that you share this channel and these videos with others um, and until the next recipe we bid you a great day and hope to see you again soon take care